Disney's All-Star Movies has just reopened for the first time in over one year. Welcome back to your Daily Dose of Disney, everybody, and welcome to Disney's All-Star Movies Resort, the cheapest resort here on Walt Disney World property, averaging about 125 to about 180, 200 a night. Today is the very first day All-Star Movies has been open since March of 2020. We are here to check in for a one night stay and tour this value resort. All-Star Movies actually just went through a refurbishment in late 2019 and early 20 with their rooms. The rooms are all brand new and kind of barely used because they were closed in all of 2020. So we kind of get a brand new room. There are over 1900 rooms with five themed areas featuring the 101 Dalmatians, Toy Story, Fantasia, the Mighty Ducks, and Herbie the Love Bugs. We are one of the first guests back in over a year. Kind of exciting. Let's go on in and see if they have anything new or if they're doing anything special for today. I do know my room was ready extremely fast. Obviously, because you know, no one's been staying here for a good year. I did just witness, once you get off the bus, they actually clap for you and you have a little red carpet as you're entering on into the, the movies. Your movie star when you come here. We're gonna be entering Cinema Hall, which is their concierge and check-in, which obviously right now, you don't really have to check in because it's all done mobily. Welcome back everybody to All Star Movies Resort. It smells clean. <laughs> That's a good sign. Since All Star Movies is one of the cheapest resorts here on property, it's also one of like the highest places where people stay, so keep that in mind. It's gonna be kind of interesting to see how they're gonna handle everybody coming on in, because they're gonna be having a lot more rooms turn around than other resorts here on property. There's just like nine cast members in the lobby, it looks like waiting to assist guests that are arriving, so that's a really good sign that they already know they're anticipating a lot of people coming. Hello, Hi. can I have a map actually? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Last time I was here actually was with my dad in I think like 2019, but this is where you can check in, get your uh, tickets for dining. If you have any burning questions for check-in or anything that goes wrong with your stay, this is where you guys will come and where you get dropped off. And it leads right into the gift shop and then of course the food court, which appears to be mobile order. Let's go see what it is. The food court is only mobile order. Usually does get pretty crowded here, so it looks like that's like a procedure or a precaution that Disney has implemented, so there's not too many people gathering, but mobile only order. Mobile only, mobile order only. The cast member Rodrigo was actually telling me in case your mobile order does not work, they actually have a register ready for you in case you can't figure out, figure out mobile ordering. But they do actually have the menu right here for you to check on out as well. I'm gonna come back and test out that mobile feature and we'll give a little tour of the cafeteria. We're gonna continue on here, but I just wanna show you guys the gift shop over here. So here is a look at the All Star Movies gift shop and it's actually a really kind of cool themed gift shop when you check out it says concessions above, box office tickets, package pickup is here but you cannot currently send your packages to a Disney resort. But I really like this one and they actually also have like Easter baskets that you can buy for Easter. This is like an Easter bundle. I believe it's about $60 for like the whole thing. So if you wanted to get a surprise someone with an Easter basket Easter morning, if you guys are coming there, $60 for like this Easter basket special. But I really like this gift shop. It's cute, it's cool, it's big. Obviously a lot of people are coming here to All Star Movies. So they have a pretty wide selection here. It's worth a check out. We're gonna move onward into our resort tour now. It is quite a gloomy day out. It's been really weird here at Disney World. It's cloudy, overcast, rainy, about I think 60 degrees or so. Not too bad, you know, just cloudy. Here's a look at the food court that actually one of the cast members let me on in. And as you can see, they have a whole like mobile pickup order, like four little stations. Very cool, but th something that caught my eye is obviously the movie posters in the back. We got Raya, Soul, the Mighty Ducks Game Changer. I guess that's coming out, I didn't know that, but that's really honestly cool. And then it looks like here they do have a cast member at one of the cash reps just in case the mobile order isn't working for you. So that is still going to be an option if mobile ordering somehow doesn't work. Very nice. So cool to be back here though. It's been a long, long time. Now walking out of the cinema hall, we're going to begin our kind of resort tour and show you what All-Star Movies has to offer. There are actually three All-Star Resort movies if you didn't know. We've got All-Star Sports at the beginning, All-Star Music, and then All-Star 
Movies, which we are currently at. Here is going to be a look of the map here at All Star Movies. It is a pretty decent sized hotel. I mean, there is over 1900 rooms here. Of course, we've got the Dalmatians, the Mighty Ducks, Fantasia, Love Bug, and Toy Story themed sections. If you guys have stayed here before, comment down what section you guys were at or which one do you think you would prefer to stay at. Obviously, Toy Story, you know, is probably one of the biggest appeals, but Let's go explore and have fun today. That is Cinema Hall and the food court. They also do have a bar. Doesn't look like it's quite open right now. Maybe open a little bit later. Silver Screen Spirits. That might be a go-to later on throughout the night. The main pool is right on outside. It's a little bit gloomy day, you know, kind of cold. There's no one there quite yet. We could kind of be the first one in there back in a year if I felt like doing that. Maybe we might, we might do that. We'll get to there a little bit later. We're gonna actually take a right and head on to the Dalmatians themed area, as well as the Mighty Ducks. What I love so much about the All Star Resorts is that they actually have some really cool themed areas. Here in the Dalmatians area, you're gonna find a 40 foot tall Pongo, a 35 foot tall Paradita with their spotted pups decorating the railings. There's a fire hydrant covering the outside stairwell with paw prints and dog bones embedded into the cement walkways. When I was a kid, my family and I, we would always stay at the All-Star Resorts. I think All-Star Sports and then Pop Century is also another big one. So I'm really familiar with these value resorts. This is actually a cool photo op. I didn't know this. This is right in the middle of 101 Dalmatians. Kind of cool. Honestly, I didn't know about this. There's a lot of photo opportunities here. You'll see a lot of Instagram, Disney Instagrammers coming to this resort just to take pictures next to a lot of the things you're going to see today. The Dalmatian section is going to bleed right on into the Mighty Ducks resort themed area. Kind of out to date. Don't really recall seeing this movie ever, but if it happens to be your favorite, comment down below. Welcome to uh, the Mighty Ducks section of All Star Movies. Welcome to the Mighty Ducks section. Here you're going to find giant hockey sticks, pucks, nets, and duck build masks found at the Mighty Ducks building entries. Obviously like an out to date movie, but it's still kind of cool if you're a hockey fan. Here's where you're gonna find one of the two pools that they have located here at All Star Movies. We've got the Duck Pond Pool, the smaller kind of pool that they have here. Pool hours, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. They do have your pool towels out here, so don't bring any of your towels down from your room. They have lockers out here, so don't worry about that. And they actually have some pop music playing. Good in. I will tell you, this is actually where we are gonna be staying. We're gonna be right on over in that corner. Our room's already ready. We'll get to that a little bit later so I can show you the newly refurbished rooms here at All Star Movie. All their resort rooms have basically been refurbished, so they have some nice finishes for an All Star, or for, sorry, for, sorry, for a value resort. Ah, actually this pool is actually open until 11, so here's a look at all their resort offerings that they're gonna be having here today. Good to know, good to know. What's nice about this resort at the moment is usually there's so many people here, not too many today, and it's quiet. Usually it's pretty loud, but kind of, kind of liking this. Next stop, the Fantasia section. We've got the giant Sorcerer's Mickey hat right here behind me. Brooms and buckets all around, ballerinas, nutcracker soldiers are found literally everywhere throughout this section. Possibly one of the loudest sections here just because the main pool is right here. And it's really cool because you have Sorcerer Mickey with some jets pouring out. Looks like it's all part of the show because you got the curtain right there as well. The biggest pool here, five feet deep is the deepest it goes. Obviously this pool is usually really, really big. So keep in mind during busy hours, this is gonna be the loudest section and it will be a lot of people here. It's also kind of weird because I'm the only one here. <laughs> Nobody here besides like five lifeguards. I've honestly never seen the movie Fantasia. Probably should get on that. A little bit confused why there's toy soldiers and a Jack in the Box. <laughs> I have no idea why. There's just so much to look at. It's very enjoyable to walk through the All-Star Movies Resort. If you're looking for a fun vibe, this might be the section for you. You could obviously request at the check-in desk or prior to checking on in, you put, could put a favorable option for your stay. This might be one of mine, even though it might be a little bit loud, but it's, it's really cool. Getting to the end of the Fantasia section, and now we're gonna be headed into the Herbie Love Bug section. And this resort actually isn't as big as I remember it being. Thought it was bigger than this, but honestly, it's not that big of a resort, and I love that. 
the winner's circle. Welcome to the love bug section of the resort. You're gonna find everything Herbie here. This place actually reminds me of when I used to play a game called Virtual Magic Kingdom and uh, <laughs> if you know, you know, comment down below. This is probably your quietest option here at All Star Movie. Simply because there's no pool, it's kind of out of the way, but it's really not far at all because Fantasia is right here behind me and here's the Herbie Love Bug section. I'm, again, very surprised on how this resort actually is. It's not big at all. It's, it's very, very nice. But in my opinion, the least exciting area just because I haven't really seen this movie either. But again, it's all remodeled rooms. All the rooms are redone. And I did save the big kahuna for last, the big one. Arguably probably the most popular area where everybody wants to stay here at All Star Movies Resort, the Toy Story section. Let's go look at her. Now as we are walking on over there, again I just want to say when normal times begin to operate, you are going to find some big groups here at this resort because a lot of cheerleaders and those competitions like to stay here. They have been canceled throughout 2021. So through 2022, expect large groups back here like the cheerleaders, sports organizations. They like to stay here at the all-star resorts because they are the cheapest option. Here you're going to find a 35 foot tall Buzz Lightyear and a 25 foot tall Woody. The green army men stand guard at the tops of the buildings. Its general theme is centered at a multi-story version of Andy's room. You're also going to find characters like RC and Bo Peep located throughout this section. This is without doubt my favorite section. I love Toy Story. Here we are. Welcome to Toy Story World. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I actually have a picture of me sitting in RC here. I think I was like eight years old. I still remember that. I mean, who doesn't like to be in the presence of Andy's toys and wake up to a huge Woody and a huge Buzz Rex Bo Peep and you're in Andy's room. It's a really cool, one of a kind themed areas here at All Star Movies. Imagine if you could take a Pizza Hut Planet like bus to Toy Story Land. That would be a cool themed way to get to Hollywood Studios. Like it drops you right off in Toy Story Land. Be cool. Because you're going from Andy's room to Andy's backyard. Why didn't Disney think of that? I think that's perfect. Wow, I should be an Imagineer. To infinity and beyond. That's what Buzz says if you, you didn't know. Definitely no shortage of photo ops here in the Toy Story section. Now, what do you guys go say? We check out our room, the newly refurbished rooms here at All Star Movies in the Mighty Duck section where we are staying. It is starting to sprinkle out. It wasn't supposed to rain, but it is a really weird overcast day here. It's been really weird these past three days. Now, like I said before, these rooms have been recently renovated and they're kind of similar to Pop Centuries now. They're brand spanking new. They are 260 square feet, so they are the smallest on property, about by 70 square feet from the moderate resorts. Each building does have an elevator if you guys are worried about that. There are not just stairs, there are elevators. If you happen to be new around my channel, I don't use any magic bands. I use my whole phone, my magical device phone here. I just scan it, use Bluetooth, and I get it on in my room. You don't need magic bands, just to let you know on that part. Looks like we are on the third floor. Time to go up. Ooh, nice elevator. 3924. Here we are. We have arrived. Here we go. Let's go on in. Here's a look at your All-Star Movies Resort room. It sleeps four, um, not many two rooms sleep five here. Can tell it's a little small, but honestly, this is all I would really need. Have a pulled down mattress right here. Have a nice little table there. Now, this is where you're gonna kind of see on how small this place is with this other bed down. Oh, that's cool. This is where you're gonna see the difference between a value, a moderate, and a deluxe. This space right here, pretty tight squeeze fits. You do have a lot of space when it is a deluxe, a moderate or a DVC resort. That's how you can really tell it's gonna be a tight fit. This is actually impressive. Smells new too, <laughs> love that. I'm actually really impressed for what you pay and what you get here. Like obviously it's no deluxe, but like it's, it's not bad. What really else would you need? This is perfect. I mean, really, this is a great hotel room if you're just gonna put your stuff in, head to the parks. It's not really an ideal place to spend like a whole resort day just cause you know, there's not much space. Those are more for like the moderate and deluxe and DVC resorts, but it's perfect if you wanna have a hustle and bustle vacation and just spend all day at the parks, then come back to sleep and put your stuff in. Got your nice refrigerator, some storage, coffee maker. You get a little better one when you actually stay at like a moderate deluxe, but. You can tell it's small, but it is very nice. You can put your luggage under your bed as well, so it doesn't take up too much of the space here because it is a little smaller unit. 
The nice thing about the, uh, the plugins too, all USB. Very nice. We do have those nice Disney touches above the bed. Kind of themed to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway because that's Minnie from uh, the Runaway Train. Now the bathroom, it is kind of small, but I actually kind of like the shower. Check this out. It has the sliding door that I love. It does have a sliding door as well here for privacy. Oh, it's got a mirror on here too, wow. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> and here's a look at your bathroom sink. It's kind of a big sink. It actually kind of overextends over the top of there, taking advantage of the small space here. Not bad, got a nice little coat rack here. Yeah, I mean, for $150 a night, what else could you, you ask for? You do get privacy in the bathroom with this sliding door, very light. I like how it's kind of themed right here as well. Let me know your guys' opinions and thoughts down below because you can book this today for your vacation. I'm impressed, honestly impressed, and you can totally tell that it's very new, cozy. The safe is gonna be located in actually one of these dresser area, so it kinda does take up some space if you're clothing. And also there is an attachment door if you happen to have some big parties, you guys can request the same rooms right next to each other. I mean, if all you're doing is sleeping, going to the parks, we spend a lot of time in the parks every day. I really think this is such a, it's it's kind of a steal. You know, if it averaged 120 to 200 a night, like, why not stay here? Like, why not? I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's daily video. Everybody, tomorrow I'm actually gonna eat in the food court for breakfast, see how that mobile order works. And then uh, I don't really know what I have planned tomorrow, so we'll have to wait and see. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions or concerns, possibly, comment down below. I'll be happy, more than happy to answer those questions regarding your stay here if you guys are planning to come here to All Star Movies Resort. Real quick shout out to Jill Ricardo and Cherry Hill. Thank you so much for being on my Patreon and supporting me on over there. But that was your daily dose of Disney, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's kind of cool to see another resort here open at Walt Disney World Resort and be able to stay here on the grand reopening day. I mean, it has been open for over a year, which is kind of insane to say at least unprecedented times. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Jump around. Jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up and get down.